And welcome back to the Movie Pope Podcast. And today we are going to do a reaction to the trailer for Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Um, but before we dive in, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know down in the comments below what you think of these trailers. And if you're excited or you don't really give two shits about it, about any of these projects and you just wish it would all end. Um, but yeah, with Monarch Legacy of Monsters, this is the continuation of the Godzilla movie movies that came out in 2014 and continued oh, geez, with it's been almost a decade my god yep and then we had what was it godzilla king of the monsters and then godzilla versus kong I, and then there's supposed to be another godzilla that comes out either next year 20 or 2025 but right now we're, we're going to take a look at the um at the trailer here for Legacy of Monsters with a uh, Kurt, certain Kurt Russell. Oh, Let's Kurt Russell! Look, dang, Kurt was not prepared for that. I mean, he's right there, dude. I know, I know, he is, but I wasn't prepared for it beforehand. All right. Oh shit. The world is on fire. Monarch was there in San Francisco. When the whole city was coming down, these guys were taking pictures like they'd been waiting for it. You think that your father was working for them? This stuff wasn't a safe. Who are they? What's Monarch? I don't think you could park your ship there. This is the world we live in. Monsters are an inescapable reality. Those files belong to us, and they are more important than you could possibly imagine. This is gonna give me nightmares. Yeah, Kurt. Now you can choke down that monarch lie. About your father disappearing. Or we can find out what really happened. Before it's too late. Oh, those little Godzilla eggs? Must, oh must be. No, they don't. I don't think they are. Believe me. Mm. It is so much more vast than we could possibly imagine. These monsters and monarchs. Taken everything from me. Hey, didn't John Goodman die in the last one or in one of these? I don't know. Right? Didn't know he died. Maybe it's a flashback. On fire. If you want to save millions of lives, we can use some help. Okay, <laughs> like someone like pretend like there's an earthquake happening. Oh, that's cool. We got an ash shot. Oh, there we go. We still see Godzilla. So, in the wise words of Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, um, you do plan to have monsters in your monster movie, right? Like, I, I think this was something that I remember earlier when everything came out. Like, there's so little focus put on the monsters. Like nobody gives a shit about the humans, right? Like if we're going to go watch something about Godzilla or, or any of the other big monsters that are out there, like that's what we're going to go see. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the, I don't care about the human characters. Right. I don't care about them at all. They have absolutely zero purpose in that movie other than to help get me to the next monster fight. And that trailer, and maybe it's because they don't want to like give out or show too much. Um, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of monster fighting going on, which is like I said, the only thing I care about in these types of movies. So I don't know what their plan is, but um, I really hope that there's a lot more monster stuff uh, in the monster movie because that was a pretty soft trailer that really showed like what one good shot of. Godzilla, which I guess you're kind of like saving, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not comfortable with the amount of time I saw of humans on the screen 
because it definitely felt like that is going to be more the focus of it, which I think is why those movies have, for the most part, failed in the past. So, um, so I take it you're not a fan of the um, recent Godzilla uh, movies, then, right? Um, not particularly. Um, I, I guess like at least with no, no, not really. <laughs> no, can't 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 say I have. You know, I I think some of the the fight sequences can be fun. You know, the really big ones are in the cities. Like I'm like, okay, that's enjoyable. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to create a movie. Um, a theatrical movie length stuff that, you know, is going to incorporate enough of that. So, I mean, I guess we'll see, but I, I definitely have not been too blown away by, um, I guess, the new incarnation of these movies that have come out. Yeah, because I mean, because I mean, with, um, with the previous Godzilla movies that came out in the 60s and 70s, um, like you said, they're they pretty much focused on the monsters themselves, whereas here... They're kind of focusing more on the human drama because I, I remember when King of the Monsters it, it was mainly focused on um on the um on, on the, the divorced couple who yeah. were trying to get over the fact that their son died. Yes. And the entire time I'm the entire time I'm just wondering I'm like, does anybody really care about this? Yes. Um, With the backdrop and, of skyscraper size monsters running around. Yeah, I, I, yeah, because I mean like because I mean, like in this case, they're like, "Oh, well, yeah, sure, Godzilla and you know Ghidorah are fighting each other, but the more important thing is the fact that my wife ran off with my daughter, and I haven't spoken to her in years, and oh my God, human drama everywhere." I'm like, oh, "Get off it, man!" I mean, the same goes for the first Godzilla movie because even then, it was we were mainly just uh, focusing on Elizabeth Olsen and Aaron Taylor Johnson, you know, just trying to. I guess do whatever it is they do, and then Brian Cranston's in the background, just like screaming about there's a conspiracy. I mean, and, 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 early. yeah, I mean, well, well, you sort of get a hint of it here because Kurt Russell, he, he, it looks like he's playing some sort of conspiracy theorist kind of guy who's like, you know, Monarch is hiding something, and they're they're up to no good, and we've got to expose them because they're bad people. Did you kind of get that vibe from from his character? Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be, he's the new Brian Cranston. So like, he's kind of like a, a face that you put with the movie, but he's going to die somewhere throughout. I think right now um, I'm going to take odds that Kurt Russell dies at about 92%. That, that's, that's my, my short math. The odds that Kurt Russell dies in this movie, 92%. Well, we also did see White Russell in there. The, um, the guy who played um, U.S. agent in Captain America and yes. or Falcon, the winter soldier. Sorry. So I'm assuming people it's give him too much hate. People give him too much hate. Yeah. Well, but I kind of get the feeling he's going to kind of step up to the plate, you know, if and when Kurt Russell's character, you know, gets crushed by a monster yes. or absorbs too much radiation. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, do you think you're going to watch any episodes of it or you're just going to like gloss over it? Or I mean, it's what? a TV series. Yeah. It's a mini series on Apple TV. Oh. Yet, no, no, <laughs> no. What is no, no? That doesn't no, no, no. I mean, I will watch it because like I'm gonna be suckered into it anyways. But like I'm gonna because, do it. It's because of Kurt Russell. You can admit it. I, I'm, I'm. We're not judging here. Well, Kurt Russell, yes, he definitely does help with that. But you know, I, I also like to see. You know, got got to give some of the stuff shots, right? Like you can't just go into it with the worst mindset. But you know, I. <laughs> Kind of uh, to see that that's going to be a TV show um, definitely kind of raises more red flags because, number one, generally those types of TV shows, not well known for a great budget. Um, so can you show something interesting with that? Sure. Right. You know, like maybe the focus is on like, you know, some type of like espionage that deals with like getting access to this stuff. I mean, there's there's ways you can make it work, but. It's weird it's kind of like everyone's going there to watch the monsters right it's like if you had a camcorder and like there's like a giant like car accident happening in the foreground but then like you're focusing on taking pictures of like i don't know leaves falling like everyone's gonna be like okay like the leaves look great but what about everything in the background that's happening that's what i'm interested in and i think this is the problem when you have movies like this like 
we're all going into it being like, oh my god, Godzilla, you know, Mothra, um, all that other whatever other monsters out there. I'm sure you know like 50 of them, and I can only name two. But whatever you want in there, like that's what people want to see. And I just don't know if it's going to give you enough of what people are ultimately hoping for. Yeah, I mean, well, well, you know, what hurts me is the fact that you know, is the fact that yeah. You know, we're, we're we've got superhero fatigue. We're getting a little bit tired of all these Marvel shows. I know. Let's um let's try monsters. People love monsters, <laughs> right? Let's try to let's try to shift the focus from superheroes to monsters. And I don't think that's going to turn out too well if the box office ratings are anything to go by. Yep. Yeah. Let's not forget about the uh, the Mummy movie that was supposed to be starting the uh, the 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 old monster films back, and then that totally flopped on its face and set back that whole thing for probably a few dec probably a decade or two before people even look at some of those things again but yeah i i just oh I'll shit you're go. right you're shit you're right yeah I, I totally forgot about that <laughs> yeah see, exactly that was supposed to be like the universal monster movies right that was the whole thing they were trying to bring it out and you know you had kind of like the jekyll and hyde you know you had the mummy obviously um, you know, even had pictures of you know the the type of cash you're hoping to have. So you know they try to do that, and it just totally failed on the first movie. Um, and you know that that's pretty much just been a foregone conclusion. So uh, as I said, don't know what the plan is with this, but I mean, I just have a feeling that the focus is going to be on stuff that we as an audience probably are not going to care as much for. Mm -hmm. um and the stuff that we do want to see is probably gonna be on the screen very briefly um and I, I think it just makes it that much harder when it's a tv show because it's like you know it's probably not gonna get the same level of budget and care um you know I, I know sometimes you get like the lord of the rings stuff where it's just like you know you know how many hundreds of millions of dollars that were spent on that series so occasionally you do get some you know really big name stuff that goes out there but I'm just I'm I'm a little bit concerned with what direction they're going with and if they'll have the really the finances to do what they want to do and make it look good. Well, not to mention too the fact that you know we don't know what the audience reaction is going to be. We don't know if it's going to be one of those things where you know you know this becomes you know a huge hit or if it becomes a flop. You know. For sure. Yep. Uh, and definitely, like I said, there there's definitely ways that you could do this and do it well. Uh, so I don't want to pretend like it's. Uh, a doom to fail type of thing. Um, there, there are ways that you can make this good. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be curious what direction they go, and do you have the means in order to have it go the way you want it to go? And that's just something that you always kind of see with budget, especially with TV series. Are they gonna be able to do as much as they want to? So we'll, we'll see what happens. So there, there is, there is a shot, right? Right, right. Well, that's going to do it for our reaction to Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Let us know in the comments below if you think this is going to be a smash hit or a flop. And as always, thank you so much for watching this episode. And take it easy. Bye.